Hello everyone. Today, I would like to show you that how to create Hexnut Revit family using lookup table in Revit. You can see in picture. D is whole diameter or nominal diameter. S is across flat. E is across corner. M is head thickness. And slope angle is 30 degrees or 15 degrees. I will use nominal diameter, across flat, head thickness and slope angle when create parameter. Ok, let's start to create. Go to Revit. Open a new family and select generic model. Before creation, first I set reference line for parameter. Select the existing line. Offset 8 millimeters and create similar. It is too large and change the scale. Offset up and down from the existing. Select the existing reference line. Offset 8 millimeters and create similar. Pick up the place and rotate 60 degrees anti clockwise. And move down to center. Select the reference line and mirror to opposite side. And pin the both reference line. Select the reference line. Offset 8 millimeters and create similar. Insert dimension center to end and make it equal. Insert dimension for parameter. And continue the rest. Before create, I going add parameter first. Go to family type. Add parameter for nominal diameter. Select instance and click OK. Add parameter for across flat. Select instance and click OK. Add parameter for head thickness. Select instance and click OK. Arrange the nominal diameter to top row. Add parameter for lookup table. Select text for type of parameter and select other for group parameter. Select instance and click OK. Go to manage lookup table and import lookup table. You can watch how to create lookup table the link is in comment box below. Add value of lookup table. Add the value of lookup table. The value is the imported CSV's name. Set default 10 mm for nominal diameter and click apply. Add one more parameter for slope diameter. Select instance and click OK. Click apply and OK. Select dimension and add to across flat parameter. Ok let's start creation. Go to create and select the extrusion. Draw a polygon from the center. Align to the reference line and lock it. Add angle dimension for balance when across flat value change. And lock the dimension. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Select the existing reference line. Offset 6.63 mm and create similar. Change the scale to 1 to 1. Insert dimension and add parameter for head thickness. Align the object to the head thickness and lock it. Check in 3D view. Go to family type and add formula for across flat parameter. Click apply. Add formula for head thickness parameter and click apply. 
Add formula for slope diameter parameter and click apply. Go to reference level. Select the object and edit the extrusion. Add angle dimension for the rest corner and lock it. Finish the extrusion. Go to front view. Create the, the void form and select the void sweep. Set and pick up the reference plane. Open the reference level. Sketch path and draw a circle base on center. Insert diameter dimension. Set 20 mm as default. Select dimension and add to parameter for slope diameter. And finish the sketch. Go to edit profile and select left view. Draw line for slope angle and lock it. Insert the angle dimension. Change the scale to 1 to 1. And lock the dimension. Align to reference line. Finish the void form. Go to 3D view. Check and play the nominal diameter. Parameter is working. Set back to 10 mm as default. Go to front view. Create void form and select void sweep. Set and pick up plane. Open the reference level. Sketch the patch and draw a circle. Insert a diameter dimension and set 20 mm as default. Select dimension and add parameter for slope diameter. Finish the sketch path. Go to edit profile and open the left view. Draw the line for slope angle and lock it. Align to the reference line and lock it. Insert the angle dimension. Set 30 degree and lock it. Finish the void form. Go to front view. Create void form for hole. Select the void extrusion. Set reference plane and open the level. Draw a circle base on center and insert diameter dimension. Select dimension and add parameter for nominal diameter. Finish the void extrusion. Go to 3D view. Check and play the parameter. The parameter are working. Thank you for watching.